you're up to it, if you're able to. Uh, Wayne Golding Sr. CD and uh, Errol Cross have joined us. Welcome, Mr. Golding. George and Errol Cross in Errol is in New Jersey, I believe. Or is he on Long Island this afternoon? George Roden, how are you? James Reed, Lady Jean in Monique St. Anne. Wayne Golding says, good afternoon, Sir D. Here obeying the protocols, wishing all safety in these challenging times. You know, this COVID-19 is even more real when people you personally know are being infected. Well wishes for all the medical and others on the front line all over the world. We join you in conveying those best wishes. Wayne Golding in uh, Orlando, Florida. Edward Boucher confirms that he's doing well, feeling 97%, he says, after battling for two weeks. Oh, it's two weeks. So he says, starting to regain some taste and smell. And he says, today made two weeks. Thank you for confirming. So after two weeks, you're feeling 97%. Would love to talk with you so that our listeners can learn from your experience. Yeah, let's work on that. Lady D. Denise Gomez says, hey Durba, nice seeing you. Please take care of yourself. And you do the same, Lady D. Denise Gomez. You're in one of the epicenters right now, New York. Please, please be safe. Give us an update if you can, Lady D. This one says, uh, this is a WhatsApp message. Good day, I'm shocked by the poor level of seriousness displayed by some people. This is supported by at least three situations that I have observed. A taxi that is licensed to carry four passengers was carrying six, including a baby and two passengers on the front seat. Situation number two, on two different occasions, the closeness that exists at our local beach was ridiculous. And the third point, the closeness at the ATM. I believe people should be more considerate and practice social distance even more. Though the challenge is that under normal circumstances, we tend to have very little regard for keeping distance. True. People just all up in your space. We understand. We understand. I think Tamara has the wrong number here, Tamara. Those requests that I'm seeing in the WhatsApp, in your WhatsApp message, certainly meant for someone else. Please check the number and try again.
them a bit, a piece of a, a poem by John O'Donoghue. John O'Donoghue. O apostrophe D O N O H U E. John O'Donoghue. And we started reading some more about John O'Donoghue. He's an Irish poet, author, priest, and a philosopher. And his words started us off this afternoon. A piece called For the Interim Time. For the Interim Time. For the Interim Time by John O'Donoghue. For the interim, I-N-T-E-R-M, interim, for the interim time. That's the name of the piece we started with this afternoon, combined with this soothing, soulful, searching sound of Simon and Garfunkel. Bridge over troubled water. In fact, there's a, a Jamaican spiritual uh, recording uh, song that comes to mind. The water is troubled, my friend. Step right in. Yeah. Bridge over troubled water, Simon and Garfunkel. And the poetry earlier on of John O'Donoghue, the interim time. When near the end of day, life has drained out of light and it is too soon for the mind of night to have darkened things. No place looks like itself. Loss of outline makes everything look strangely in between, unsure of what has been or what might come. In this one light, even trees seem groundless. In a while it will be night, but nothing here seems to believe the relief of darkness. You are in this time of the interim, where everything seems withheld. The path you took to get here was washed out. The way forward is still concealed from you. The old is not old enough to have died away. The new is still too young to be born. You cannot lay claim to anything in this place of dust. Your eyes are blurred and there is no mirror. Everyone else has lost sight of your heart and you can see nowhere to put your trust. You know you have to make your own way through. As far as you can, hold your confidence. Do not allow confusion to squander this call, which is loosening your roots in false ground that you might come free from all you have outgrown. What is being transfigured here in your mind? And it is difficult and slow to become new. The more faithfully you can endure here, the more refined your heart will become for your arrival in the new dawn. How appropriate. A poem for our time. So that's, how did we get, get there? Oh, Gabap was saying beautiful song. Carol Boyd says hello from Calgary, and that's Calgary, Alberta, Canada. How are things in Calgary, Alberta, Canada? Carol, give us an update, please. Kirk McDonald, good afternoon. Ricardo Goldson says, nice song. Sharon Frey says, still in quarantine indefinitely. Oh dear, we hope you're being taken care of even while you're in quarantine, Sharon Frey. Would love to connect with you, Sharon Frey. Let's get, let's get, uh, well, Send, send us a WhatsApp message if you're able to. 876-365-3346. Let's see if we can provide a window for you out of quarantine, in a manner of speaking, or while you're in quarantine. Sharon Frey, send us a message on WhatsApp, whether by text 
well, send us a text message or a WhatsApp message with a number to reach you. 876-365-3346. 876-365-3346. Jeannie Chambers says good afternoon to you too, Jeannie Chambers. Edward Boucher Jr., how are you doing? We need to check up on you, Mr. Boucher. How are things? Edward Boucher Jr. is in Paris, France. And uh, as he told us on Saturday on the Jamaican Diaspora Live Online, he had been exhibiting, well, today would be one week. Yes, one week since he started exhibiting. Was it one week? Tuesday. Yeah, I think that's what he had said. Last week, Tuesday, he started exhibiting some of the symptoms of COVID-19, but has not been able to, to access testing because of how overwhelmed the health system in Paris, France is right now. Perhaps we'll get an update from Mr. Boucher if he's up to it. Jennifer Stewart says, good afternoon, Dervan. I'm here waiting or watching you in studio. Have a blessed day to you too, Jennifer. Sharon says, we're completely locked down and quarantined here in the UK. 